What's up, you fantastic, magical, wild little beastly children? Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Hey, thanks for being here this morning. Okay, just a quick reminder, third graders, you got reteaches Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11. Fourth graders, 11 and 3 o'clock. Ooh, okay, instead of an interesting teacher fact of the day, we need your help with some ideas. Oh, but first, here, let me show you your work real quick. Okay, if you're in my class or Miss Davis's class, looks the same. Uh, Wednesday, your morning work. You've already opened your morning announcement. Thank you for doing that first if you did. And you're on to problem of the day and then your writing journal assignment. Okay, then you're on to math times five, divide by five. Then you have your practice level 14, which is your word problem level. It'll be on instant scoring, so you can see right away if you understand it or not. So if you're getting them green, you're good on, you're good to go on to level 14, the real level 14. Okay, then try the practice problem, right? And then move on to the real level. Okay, then you need to think about whether you have all your math assignments done. So this is this will look a little different when you open it, but all the decimal levels are your responsibility to have this completed, right? This is what you guys need to be ready for fifth grade, okay? One thing that's annoying with Google Classroom that I just remembered, you have, if you have more than 10 things in a section like this, it'll start hiding things and you have to click view more to open up the rest of the things, okay? So I clicked view more and now it'll show me the rest of the things. So when you open it up, I think 12 and 13 will be here as well. So you just know you have to click view more there. Okay. Uh, Miss Walton's class, uh, third graders and fourth graders, start here. This is all your assignments to get done first. Okay, if you're a third grader, you're on to problem of the day and then your uh, area word problems for today. Okay, after you finish that, you gotta make sure you have all your area assignments completed. Um, these are all the things you guys need to be ready for fourth grade. Okay, so make sure you're getting all this stuff done. Okay, if you're a fourth grader, so get through the both grade stuff. Okay, find your fourth grade section. Problem of the day, practice 12, pra real 12, practice 13, real 13. Okay, make sure you have all the decimal levels complete, right? There, we have a lot open here. Remember to click view more to open up the rest of them that are hidden. Okay, these are your responsibilities. Okay, then you guys are on to your reading group stuff. Okay, so let's see, where am I? Okay, reading group instructions. Complete the language assignment below. So this prepositional phrases for fourth graders and third graders. Complete your 20 minutes Alexia. There's a link Alex. There'll be a link to Alexia down here. And then go to your reading group Google Classroom, your food group, whether you are banana, uh, camel, hamburger, fig, uh, huckleberry, gooseberry, eggplant. That's where a lot of your work is, right? So I'll just pick eggplants. Always switch to classwork. You have work completion tracker now, right? Every assignment we're keeping track whether you get it done or not. Your daily instructions for the day, right? So it's Wednesday. Record your running record. Record your nonfiction book. Complete ITK. And then Lexia, like we already talked about, 20 minutes. And try to you want to try to at least get four units done a day. Okay, so nonfiction today. So open this guy up, record each page. And this is actually open at a later day. So you don't need to worry about this. Um, and I have not posted ITK. This is reminding me. So I will get that up now. Okay, then okay, so enough of work talk. Okay, we need your help. We are thinking we want to bring back Friday fun day and figure out how to do it online. Um, I'm gonna put two sections below this video on the formative. Um, one idea we were talking about, Miss Davis and Miss Walton and I were like, 
teacher dares, maybe. Like you guys come up with silly, weird things that we would have to do if you get your work done. So like, um, kind of like we used to pop the bubbles, we, we were thinking of something similar. So all the silly, strange, maybe gross, whatever things you can think of, we would randomly put somewhere and we would draw one out. And then maybe if you have your work done for the week, we'll give you a link to an online meeting and you can watch us do that dare or whatever you came up with. Um, I'm also going to put a section for any other ideas you might have for Friday fun. So let's bring it back. Help us out. Okay, uh, remember you can pick up breakfast and lunch from 11.30 to 1. You just roll through the parking lot, swoop it up, and then you're off back home. And then just please check this first so we can keep you updated on what's going on. And then your reading group assignments today, remember to record your nonfiction book and your running record and complete ITK. Okay, and then, yeah, we need your ideas to bring back Friday Fun Day. Okay, we're gonna do a game of the day at 10. We'll post the link in the Google Classroom stream. Remember, you can come in and you don't need to share your camera or your mic. So if you're not, if you're feeling grumpy and kind of tired and you don't feel like having people look at you, I showed you yesterday how to do that. Okay, yesterday's winners were <clears throat> Aaliyah, Alondra, Kaya, Anthony, Austin, Clara, Hope, Jaslyn, Kimmy, Mekki, Kaka, Miss Davis, Safira, Timmy, and Violet. All right, let's find out what you have won. Get my magical prize vase. Okay. When you are 22 years old, you will be able to read the minds of potato bugs for 10 seconds. Remember to use that power wisely. Okay, have a great day, you guys. Hey, we're asking you to be responsible. Um, all this work we're giving to you is important, so you're ready for next year. It's important to get that brain exercise, so be responsible. Know you need to get all your math levels done and all your reading group levels done. Um, come play games at 10 uh, in the class stream. Reteach today at 11 and three o'clock for fourth graders. Okay, and remember to get all your reading work done. And all the math levels that are posted are your assignments. Okay, and then please just help us with some ideas for online Friday fun day. All right, have a great one. I'll catch you later.